week ago now, I sent off my Guildhall tape. So I think it takes like four weeks to hear back. So obviously I've not had back yet, but I thought I'd want to evaluate the process of my third year auditioning for drama school now, because I think it's so easy to let the result of an audition define the way you think about how you've done which I don't think is always the best, especially not in professional auditions, because they're just matching you up to a role. So if you're letting whether or not you were the right fit for the role affect how you view your own performance in an audition, I don't think that's helpful because often it's not about the performance, it's about other things anyway, and we shouldn't let other people's opinions define us. So I thought I'd chat about the process now because this is my third time auditioning. So I've done this process a lot of times now. So I thought I'd chat about this year auditioning compared to other years. And also please, please subscribe to see where it goes because obviously you might want to find out do I get recalled, do I not? Wherever I go in the future, I will be documenting it and just please support my journey and subscribe because I'd really appreciate it and let's get on with the video. So I think a main thing that's been different in this year compared to other years is that I've taken a lot less time over my tapes. I think I've got a little bit more in my head about it maybe about the rejection because I have put so much time and money into my training so I'm kind of freaking out a bit more at the idea of being rejected first round because I've put so much work into my acting and I know I'm so much better um, whereas in my first year I was like yeah like I'm not the best in my class at school like that's fine um, it's my first year applying but now I want to get further in the process that's why I'm doing it so not that I didn't want that the first year so I'm kind of more in my head about that so I feel like I didn't do as many takes but I did some and then I realised that once you submit the forms to Guildhall, you then have to wait a few days until I send you the link that you can use to upload your self-tape. So I allowed that gap to allow me to get in my head. And I also had posted the video about me applying to drama school again. So I'd got all of these messages of support and I was like even more motivated by the messages as well because I was like, everyone's behind me like I can smash out these auditions so I wanted to film them again um so I did another take and then with one piece overall I think I did like three takes across three days because it's a piece I know really well and I've done it now a lot of times in a lot of mock auditions but it's not got stale like people say it seems fresh every time and I feel like it's such a good piece for me to use because I've been in the room auditioning with it in mock auditions mainly, but also in real auditions. And I've had someone sitting in to be the other character during the monologue. So I know what it's like to look into someone's eyes and speak the monologue like it's truth. So I feel like I feel really connected to the character and the character's so, so similar to me. Um, that I feel really confident with the lines and with the monologue so that one's fine but I did another piece that I wasn't so sure about and I don't know where all the takes came from because I swear I was like I'll do three takes now or I'll do one take today so why did I end up with like six or seven takes and then I was so confused watching them back because I didn't remember filming it I think because usually I'd be like this is the take where I felt the most connected to the piece and the emotion but I was baffled because I was like, where have all these takes come from? Why do I have so many takes of the monologue? So I was confused and it took me a while of watching them to find which ones I thought was best. And I just, I don't want to have to tell people I've been rejected for a third time of auditioning. And it might not even be to do with me, like maybe even Guildhall will think you, this isn't the right school for you, this isn't the right time for you. And I'm not even set on drama school as the only route into the industry like I was in my first year. But I just, <laughs> I just like, I don't want to get rejected again, please. I feel like I'm so much more of a confident actor now because I feel like um, before I used to freak out about acting in front of people a bit more. But now if I'm in an audition, I'll get nervous for like, if I have to sing in front of people, that scares me. Certain things are outside of my comfort zone, but doing monologues 
I have so many monologues like with my acting coach we've done a new monologue every five weeks for the past three years or something so I have like 21 monologues um, and I've done monologues outside of that as well and I have some monologues that I've done in front of groups and I've heard a group reaction to it and I know that people have given me positive feedback, people who I know have really encouraged me and like hyped me up about my monologues. So I'm feeling very supported in the acting environment I'm in. I just think the hardest part about rejection in this industry is not the actual rejection because I get rejected from so much and I know that you usually get one in 52 jobs. I know the statistics for drama school and I know it's really difficult so I don't think anyone should beat themselves up over it because it's so difficult. Basically what I'm trying to say is just because you don't get into one school that doesn't mean that you're a bad actor. Like I've heard of people who have auditioned for like so many schools and got through to final rounds of the majority of schools but like one school they might get rejected first round because they're just not right for that school. So I think it's easy for me to understand how difficult it is but I think what I find harder now is telling people that I've been rejected from like all these different auditions if they know that oh Lottie's busy at an audition today like I find it harder then to be like oh I didn't get it because I that's normal and I know the majority of stuff you don't get and that doesn't mean that you've done bad but I just feel like other people might not realize that so I'm just trying to not let other people's opinions affect me this year. And I feel like either way with an audition, for me, if I get a rejection or if I get recalled or like offered something, I feel like either way, getting that email is the acknowledgement that I've put myself out there and I've done something. So either way, I've not lost anything. And I just wanted to share my perspective really because I think it can be a really isolating process auditioning for drama school and it can feel like no one else understands the kind of process that you're going through sometimes. So I just wanted to share my experience in case anyone else is feeling the same and if anyone wants to talk about their experience and how it's going leave me a comment and we can chat. Um, I'm always here to chat and I love getting comments, I love talking to people about all things acting and the industry, drama school. I'm so grateful to have all of the people watching these videos and commenting because it's so nice to feel connected to so many different people, even people who aren't in the industry who are commenting. I just really appreciate it, like it's nice to feel that level of support from so many different people and I'm so grateful to have this platform. So thank you so much to everyone for watching this and I wish you all the best. Thank you. Bye.